Yo, what is up, G Crew? I'm Chris G, bringing you guys another video, and today I'm gonna be showing you guys why you need to be using Live Flare overlays in your video. So, let's get started. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed that little sequence. It definitely took me a little while considering I had my mom's help. So shout out to my mom. Go check her out on Instagram. I'll probably link her Instagram down below in the description. So yeah, be sure to follow her. And also, let's just get started with the video. So pretty much what we're gonna be talking about today is how to use lens flares or light flares in your videos. And they're actually pretty easy. So I'm probably gonna put some down below in the description for you guys to download. Um, because I know when I did research on this kind of stuff, it helped me out whenever other YouTubers put like that stuff in the description. So that's what I'm going to do. And it's all going to be 4K. So it's very easy and pretty cool. And the reason why it's going to be 4K, even though you use 1080, um, even if you use 1080, um, you can always shrink it down and you have even more flexibility. So 4K overlays are pretty sick. So let me show you guys how to actually use it. So as you can see, there's this clip here, right? And uh, we're gonna zoom in. This is a clip that we saw in the beginning in the intro. And uh, we're gonna turn off the lens flare, or the light flare, and you'll see it's a huge difference. Literally night and day difference. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna find this clip and um, we're gonna find it in the project. So it's right there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna nest it. So just so that way we can um, see it, what it is on its own so pretty much this is its own clip on its own project and so what you can do is you can color grade it however you want and let's say I really want it to be nice and dynamic or whatever and then I want it to be very teal and orangey so what you can do is you can I'm just gonna rush this guy so that way you can see what I'm trying to get at so I'm gonna make it kind of blue and then I want the orange to pop and I want it to be like that Okay, so that looks pretty clean. It looks really cool, but since the drone that I have, it's actually the Mavic 2 Pro, doesn't have a really good, um, it does have a good lens. I don't know what the word is, but it's not an anamorphic lens, and those lenses get amazing, beautiful lens flares. So, because I don't have an anamorphic lens, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go into our project file, right? Well, the way you would do it is you would just import, um, you would import it from the project so you'd go to import and go to where you would have your your files for me to my inventory and then I have all of these 4k so for this video I'm gonna be giving you guys impact lights and I'll also give you studio flares so those two things are two folders I'm gonna give you guys for free and uh, you can download them and put them onto your project so you pretty much download them and then you're gonna import them into your thing and then pretty much that's how it goes down. So now all we have to look for is the actual lens flare. So here's this one. So you'll notice it covers up the whole screen. So it's like, what the heck, Chris? Like, you did me dirty. No, I did not do you dirty. You're gonna go to the, you're gonna make sure you select the, the flare uh, layer. And then you're gonna go here to where it says blend mode. And this is literally where the magic happens, guys. You're gonna go from normal all the way to screen. And just like that, you have your anamorphic lens clearly the sun is not blue so all you really have to do is make sure that you've selected that and then you're gonna go to your hue and you can just match the sun color of whatever it is so that orangey red tone is usually the tone I go for and then on top of that you kind of want to lower it as well you can always match it so we're gonna have it positioned right there we're gonna make a keyframe sorry and we're gonna see that the sun is right there and then we'll go I don't know six frames into it obviously the sun's not that high we'll lower it a little bit there go another sec uh, six seconds in and we'll just keep making keyframes now that we kind of fix that it should automatically be beautiful and it is so it lines up perfectly 
and uh, it just looks awesome. So another thing you'll notice is right here at the top, you'll notice that there's a little, I guess it's cut because even though it is 4K, you know, it doesn't cover everything. So what you can do is you can get a mask by clicking here and make sure you're selecting the flare um, layer. And then what you're gonna do, what I do, is you're gonna make a little bit of a mask, pretty wide, you don't want it to be almost like a diamond. Uh, you don't want it to be too um, too tight. The reason is, is because you're gonna wanna feather it like a ton. So just like, literally like that is fine. And so now when I exit out of that, look how much better that looks. Um, it just looks crazy good and yeah, I mean, you can't ask for a better lens than that. So that's pretty much what I'm suggesting you guys put into your videos. It's just, it takes a little bit more time, but it definitely makes it so much better. So, well, that's the end of the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I had a stressful time making this. I actually did this very last minute. So if you did enjoy this, please give it a like and comment down below on what I should teach on next. And if you want this to be more in detail and more in depth, let me know and I'll be sure to slow it down or whatever. But yeah, I hope you have a wonderful day or night. Whenever you're watching this, please comment, like, and subscribe. Peace.